The last time we saw Geekbench release a major update was back in 2019 with the launch of version 5. But a couple of days ago, the team released Geekbench 6, and it can be downloaded for free in the Google Play Store. The first major change you'll notice is the new design, as the application has finally added support for Material U. So after you update or download the latest version, you'll immediately see its updated look. But there's a lot more changes going on under the hood than what you actually see. For example, instead of the benchmark tests having such an emphasis on raw CPU performance, the app has been updated with tests that leverage the GPU as well. There has also been some changes to how Geekbench 6 calculates multi-core performance, which helps give a more accurate result since they are testing to see how cores share the workload. This allows the benchmarks done in Geekbench 6 to give a better representation to how the device will actually perform in real-world usage. The previous version of the application wasn't able to give us a good idea of how our devices performed when it came to SOCs with big and little cores. So those of us with modern chips on our smartphone or tablets are expected to get a more accurate benchmark result when using Geekbench 6. Along with the improved support for modern hardware, the updated version of the application has also added in some tests that help give us an idea of how the device will perform when it comes to the newer machine learning tasks. Many phones today are shipping with AI features that include removing objects from photos, tagging objects, adding filters to images, and a way to blur the background of an object in a photo or a video. So the new tests have been added to Geekbench that give us a better idea of how the device can perform on these specific tasks. We're also seeing that some existing tests have been updated in Geekbench 6 that will better reflect the workloads our devices are completing today rather than the way we used them five or 10 years ago. Geekbench 6 is still free for non-commercial use, but there is also a pro version that comes with some command line features and offline management tools that can help companies who need help with automating this type of work. They're even running a 20% off sale for Geekbench 6 Pro that will run until February 28th. The base version of Geekbench 6 will remain free and can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. With the updated version of the application, we are expected to see different scores than what we got with Geekbench 5. The Galaxy S23 Ultra was getting a score of 1500 in single-threaded performance on Geekbench 5, but it is now seeing a score of 2011 with Geekbench 6. Multi-threaded scores of the device were at 5000 with the last version of the application but are now seeing a score of 5,311. And we're even seeing a lower compute score with the Galaxy S23 Ultra than what we saw with the last version of the app. And this is all because of the new changes made to the existing tests, as well as the newer tests that have been added. So if you like to follow benchmark scores that smartphones are able to achieve, you'll want to make sure that you retest all of your older devices with the newer version of Geekbench. This way, when you get a new device or you see a new device that is released 
and then you go and check its benchmark scores, you'll have a better understanding of how it compares to the devices that you have.